A warning, this next story, some viewers might find some of these images confronting. Well, we all know that everyone grieves in their own way, but did you know in Indonesia there is an annual ritual where bodies are dug up, cleaned, redressed, and even sometimes share a cigarette with their living families? Yeah, it's true. This ritual is considered the biggest celebration of life by this community who believe the link between life and death is infinite. When loved ones die, families often keep their bodies for months, sometimes even years, in their own home or a specific building designed to house the dead. Then the annual visit is viewed as a second funeral where families can ensure upkeep to prevent the bodies from decomposing. Ben, I think this is uh... fascinating. What do you reckon? <laughs> um, sorry, I just I just saw the reactions from everybody. This can I just say this is coming from someone whose favorite movie is Weekend at Bernie's. I find this so <laughs> terrifying. I am like and when I say I'm a fan of Weekend at Bernie's, I like the second one where they dig him up for the second time and that's on brand for me. But can I just say those images were truly I I, I can't even I like I can't even look at it. I must say again that does, you know, when I first saw it, I thought that was Joel Creasy in the opening credits. But then I was like, oh, no, that woman's had her hair done better. <laughs> I, I've got to say, Robbo, it, yes. it doesn't bother me that much. I look at that and go, it's, it's very different. But, you know, like in America, they've got the whole embalming process with the open coffins and things like that. It's very big over there, um, which I always found, found weird when I saw it on movies and things as a kid. It's just a mm. different culture, isn't it? Yeah, look, it is. And when you think about it, in Western culture, taboo, uh, sorry, death is kind of one of the final taboos where everyone's really scared about talking about it and they don't, you know, they don't like discussing what happens and things like that. I think this is just, uh, oh my God, I've got to apologise. I, I don't know why this word is in my head, but I was, was going to say that this is very woke. I hate myself <laughs> for saying that, but it's very woke of those people to be really uh, open and honest and upfront with death and and, I, you know, I, I think it's fine. But I also ag understand and agree that a lot of people would find that confronting because of the society that we're in. Yeah. And I think, you know, I, I totally understand that. People would find, like you mentioned, Rob, open caskets. They would find really confronting and, you know, not nice. And a lot of people say that. So, you know, it, it, it just is based on what uh, your culture is and if that's what you want. But, you know, everyone's got a problem with death, really. Yeah. Uh, Heidi, I'll give you the <laughs> last word on this. I'm... I'm scared shitless of dying. And so for me, that's a massive fear. So when there's skeletons up in the front yard, like smoking darts and, you know, getting their hair done and dressing <laughs> up in outfits, that's but Heidi, isn't nightmare. that more respectful than burying them in the ground or even burning them? You know, like... Oh, don't even get me started. I can't even tell you how, like, th thinking about my own mortality since having a baby, like, and you saying that, I'm like, oh... So, yes, I don't know if it's more respectful. It's like each to their own, like with culture, right? And like, you know, the open casket and all that. But I'm like, it's terrifying. I want, when I die, um, I want Amanda to have my body there holding my hand up and I can be a coat rack. People can put their coats in and oh, I'll be like. Oh, my God, as if you've thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> I She's often thought of how Hold she'll get me into that position of being dead. So, you know, it's. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Some days when we do our run through, though, Rob, I actually think that you have been to the taxidermist, and then I realise that you haven't done that shower. You have five minutes before the show and, the, and a little bit of powder, and I'm like, oh. But as I said, I love Weekend at Bernie's, so I think you're hilarious. <laughs> well, I, I've been dead for many years. There's just a hand up my bum. Uh, to, oh, to all the oh, okay, alrighty, move on. We're done. This show's over. It's a Ben. Rob and Rob, oh Ben, Rob and Rob, oh Shen, Rob and Rob, oh Shen.